Dark Targets. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the United Kingdom oil peak and its terminal decline. For those who do not understand peak oil really well, here is one of the best examples of the modern world to understand what peak oil means and understand what it should lead us to. All this starts with a chart of the UK oil production. Every oil field, every oil production, every country producing oil will have a phase where production is rising as you can see on the blue chart uh, from the period of 1975 till approximately uh, 1990 or even if you want until 2000. After that you have a decline and usually the slope of the decline is approximately equivalent to what you had as a slope for the increase. The dotted line in 2012 is the production measured as of 2012 which is the latest figures we have. Let me now talk about the episodes of the United Kingdom oil peak. Episode number one. Before 1975 the country is a net consumer of oil. The red line is higher than the blue one. The red line being the consumption and the blue one being the production. And this is indicating that the country is consuming a lot more oil than it is producing. Episode number two from 1975 until 1980. The country is an oil producer thanks to the fields in the North Sea, but is not yet an exporter. From 1975 and forward, the North Sea oil production ramps up quite fast and the production ultimately reaches the level of national consumption by roughly 1980. Episode number three, the UK oil production exceeds the consumption. Those were all the good years of the UK economy throughout the reign of Mrs. Margaret Thatcher. During those times also anything worked in the economy and also from a social point of view. Episode number four, the oil production hits a peak in 1999. Regardless of the oil reserves, the peak is reached the day the country is unable of any longer increasing its production capacity. A peak happens automatically once your reserves are starting to be depleted. The pressure in the ground no longer is there to allow the, the oil to come out easily. You have to start pumping more. You have to drill more wells. Also, each new well which is drilled will produce or generate less oil. This peak uh, went quite unnoticed in the UK press and even in the rest of the world. And people just don't get the idea of what a peak can be. Well, here is what it looks like. Episode number five, from 1999 and until 2005, the oil production declines and the country ceases to be an oil exporter. The decrease in production is quite strong. Regardless of the new technical capabilities and new investments, the production just decreases. Episode number six, the production enters into terminal decline the production is now lower than consumption again. The gap between production and consumption is widening over time. Now why is this a terminal decline? Well, very simple. Simply because the UK no longer has any oil reserves. To understand a bit better what this decline is, in 99 and until 2012 the slope of this decline was 7.5 percent per annum in average. The 
total decrease in oil production in the UK from 99 until 2013 or 2012 was 65%. One would imagine that the UK should increase its oil production. Wouldn't that be the right thing to do, especially in light of these high, high oil prices we have today? in 2013 where we are rather close to 100 to 110 dollars a barrel episode number seven the oil production is dropping at a pace of 7.5 percent per year and the total decrease now has reached 64 percent from its peak Episode 8, which now is the future, is the episode in writing. The oil production is dropping further at 7.5% per year, and the population managed to reduce its consumption by 1.5% per year. That 1.5% decre decrease in consumption is what has been measured over the last 6-7 years. Indeed, oil being expensive, people cut down in its consumption but I've never seen any economy being able to reduce its consumption on a longer term basis by more than one and a half or two percent so we are keeping that forecast which is the red line decreasing by 1.5 percent per annum the blue line indicates uh, a decrease in production by 7.5 percent for the years to come this will widen the gap between the red and the blue line. In fact, it will widen the trade deficit, which is going to increase as the oil or the additional oil needs to be imported. This, this will also limit and worsen the capabilities of the UK economy to grow. Give cheap energy to an economy and it will thrive feed it with expensive energy and it will come to a halt. The oil prices will continue to increase due to scarcity. The economy will continue to slow down. The trade deficits will continue to widen and the debt of the nation will continue to increase. This uh, bleak picture is not yet well understood by the people, but it's just a natural consequence of what you call peak oil. The economy will slow down and there's just no other real easy way out of it besides reducing massively in your consumption, rebuilding a totally new infrastructure based on alternative fuels or energy. For those in the UK who still have not really understood the concept of peak oil, I hope that this was clear enough for you to understand what peak oil means. This curve of the oil peak in the UK is the same in several other countries and um, will lead ultimately to a major energy crisis worldwide. Thank you for listening. Dark Targets.